first day of May, everyone. Happy May. I'm halfway through my journey to work and also halfway through my oatmeal. I just got off the phone with student aid because I saw that my consolidation went through for my loan and it said zero balance and <laughs> I got happy. I was like, oh, my loan's been forgiven. I wish, right? Student loans. So it's just getting consolidated into a new loan. So it's not paid off. Um, drop Sophia off. Have my tea, warmed up a fish sandwich. Did not bring the rice and same because I think the pepper in that food hurt my belly yesterday at work. Got me sick. Got me running to the bathroom. So I brought my fish sandwich, some strawberries, having my oatmeal, and my tea. I need to survive off of that all day. Unless I go off for lunch and grab like a burger or something. I don't know. We'll see. I left 10 minutes early because I was 3 minutes late yesterday. Don't want to be late again. Trying to get there on time. But then I ended up chit-chatting with the lady at the door for uh, for like 2 minutes at Sophia's school because they were kind enough to keep an eye on Sophia while she was in the car waiting for me because Zane was wanted, wanted to go play at the playground. And she didn't want to go. She was giving me a hard time. Um, what's our goal for today? Our goal for today is to get through mat test prep and um, put up my artifacts. Oh my gosh, I gotta create those things and put them up. just do one sample of one question for my six students one for math and one for ELA question one probably see what question they all use oh, yeah. this is how I have food all over my car because I'm always eating and I'm trying to get to work and school on time Um, so it's not as gloomy as yesterday, the sun is out a little bit more, um, it's a tiny bit warm, more warm than yesterday, um, I think it's gonna go up to 75 this afternoon, so I have this super cute outfit that I was saving for, um, Dubai, but it's, um, a two-piece and it's like a floral silk. And it was kind of expensive. This is like $30, $40 at um, TJ Maxx, but I liked it so much. I was like, this is the perfect, and it's like a wide leg pants. This piece isn't as long as I want it to be, but it's like three quarters to be you. But um, I loved it so much. I was like, I was going, I was going to wear a dress, and I was going into my basket that has my vacation coat packed away folded and packed away and i needed a slip to put under my dress and then i saw this and i was like let me just wear this because i wore a dress yesterday so yeah it's so comfortable it would actually look super cute with some flats but i like to be a little taller at work a little bit more tall at work um i don't think i have any meetings today tomorrow i have two meetings njsla and cpt so I gotta get my artifacts together and in for that. My goal for today. I did finish my uh, bulletin board. It looks really good. I wanna get food on my new clothes. Makeup is looking good. Asleep a tad bit early, but then I woke up at two. When I fall asleep early like that, I wake up like at around two or three and I'm up for like an hour or two. 
had to try Asia because I usually just drop my tea. I usually fall asleep before praying Asia. And um I'm gonna grab a napkin. Um and then I wake up in the middle of the night and I pray Asia. And I fell asleep right before Fajr, 15 minutes before Fajr. I had a Sinatogen pill. And I was trying to fall back asleep. I didn't want to be tired at work. Yesterday was a little tired. So no more after school, but I do have a meeting um, with this principal that um, she's doing her doctorate a cappella as well. So I'm helping her with her study, for her research. So I have a meeting with her after school. I think that one is around four. And, um, and then I have a, um, an, um, an appointment with my therapist at six. So a lot of meetings today. I think I made too much oatmeal. Um, so I started and I'm almost done. We're printing out my beginning of year papers, documents, whatever it is. I had some exciting stuff happen overnight. I wrote last evening into the morning. If it all goes well, I'll mention it to you guys. Sometimes patience is virtue. When you want something and you, you deserve it, but it, the timing is wrong, you, you're a little patient, it does happen. So, I'm happy about that. But I must say, my winter months are challenging. It's the weather, it's, it's like the lack of vitamin D and sunlight. And it takes a toll on you. Does that happen to anyone else? And how do you take care of your mental health? I know a lot of people don't prioritize that. They're mainly focused on their physical health. Whether it's anxiety, depression, anger issues, you know, you know what your problems are. And it's really good that you, it takes strength to recognize what, you know, mental health issues. We all have something that we suffer from. So it's, it takes a lot of strength to recognize it and get help. Because being in denial and not doing things to heal or help yourself you're doing yourself a disservice and I don't think a lot of people are there yet there's a stigma um, if you admit that you have a mental health issue that you know it's a negative thing something's wrong with you you're weird you have issues but we all have something so we all life is tough all cope differently and it's okay sometimes to talk to someone about it and just let it all out so that's that and that's my rant for today um didn't grab my coconut water from Morocco I wear them all the time someone I found it the other day I thought I lost it I found it in one of my purse my black purse that I wore to Morocco I love this green one like green is now my new favorite color and then this one is super cute I gave some away I gave mainly bracelets away 